Hey there, I'm Nancy Howard. Thanks so much for joining me at the end of 2021 for a Going Deeper devotion. Just a little heads up, around the corner, we're going to have a new format and frequency for Going Deeper devotion. So stay tuned. Thanks so much for joining me here. And it's just been really enjoyable being able to listen to various voices in our Going Deeper devotions and being able to connect with you in this way. Today we're going to be picking up a sermon series week four called Hark. And if you remember, back to week one, we talked about Hark being this command that was used for hunting dogs to say, pay attention, be on the lookout, course correct. And today in our scripture, we're going to be reading Isaiah 35 verses five through seven. And Isaiah is essentially doing that with the um, people of God, with the Israelites saying, listen up, course correct and in the scripture that we're going to look today he's going to give a beautiful picture of what happens when we do when we course correct um, before I want to get into that though I want you to think about is there something going on in your life right now where you need the glory of God to enter into it we talked about on Sunday how we can all um, be a part of God's glory when we observe, when we receive, when we reflect, and when we magnify His glory, because really the glory of God is the goal of life. Today, specifically, we're going to be looking at what is it like to receive God's glory, perhaps in that place of struggle or in that place of longing or desire that you have, maybe not now, but maybe you have had or around the corner what would it be look like look like to receive God's glory and invite God's glory into that so uh, recently I was on a walk on a cold December Saturday and it was a trail ride my son was riding um, horseback and a big horse named velvet bareback and my husband was walking alongside of me and we we're following a guide our friend Teresa and um, this was a newer horse for Jake to ride. And um, because Velvet was so big, and because she was a little skittish, I was feeling a little bit antsy myself. And at one point towards the end of the trail ride, Teresa stops us all and she says, we're just gonna wait. And she pointed to the road and she said, something's going on along the road. There's a farm nearby. They exercise their hounds, getting them ready for the hunt uh, twice a week. And uh, that's causing the horses to be skittish. And so the horses were running in a pasture to the furthest most point of a corner of this fenced in area. And Teresa explained, I don't want Velvet taking her cues from that commotion. I want Velvet to draw from me. I want her to take her direction for me. So we're just going to wait here. We're going to wait until she remembers that she's looking to me for when she's to go and when she's to wait and when she's to stop because I don't want her to get fearful. It's such a great lesson for me. In Isaiah chapter verse 4, he's essentially saying the same Thing to um, those who have been struggling. He says, be strong, do not fear, in, in verse 4. He says, he, there's going to be a savior. He will come to save you. And then he gives this picture. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then will the lame leap like a deer and the mute tongue shout for joy. Water will gush forth in the wilderness and streams and the desert. The burning sand will become a pool, the thirsty ground bubbling springs, and the haunts where jackals once lay, grass and reeds and papyrus will grow. I mean, what a beautiful picture of God's redeeming glory over not just his people, but the places where the people inhabit. And so, that's my prayer for all of us today, that when we think about Jesus, who was with glory, with the Father in heavens, and that he dwelt among us, which is what we just celebrated in Christmas. He um, humbled himself. He um, took on the very nature of a servant when he started off his life in that manger. 
and he continued to serve in humility so that God exalted him to the place that's above every place that at the name of Jesus every knee would bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord one day. I pray that it would be this day for you and me, that we get to receive Jesus as, as our expression of the glory of an invisible God in whatever um, is, our, is our circumstance today, that we would be able to receive more of God's glory in that today. So if you wanna pray with me, Holy Father, Lord God, we believe that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior and that he is our Savior from our bad choices, from the chaos that is this world. Lord, today we choose to surrender our hearts and we choose that there would be no rival interest that we're looking towards. Lord, I pray that we would heart together and that we would together give you thanks and give you glory for the love expressed in Jesus. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining me. Enjoy the rest of 2021 or wherever you are, whatever you are. I pray God's blessing on you.